So we're back with Resident Evil 4. Hi guys, Ella here. And the guys, whatever that noise is, hitting the, uh, just making a banging sound, which is uh, kind of strange. And we'll see what that is right now. As you can see, it looks kind of worrying. So let's see what is inside. Don't you think? <clears throat> You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Yeah. <laughs> the big cheese indeed. So, there you go. That's the. It kind of gives you an end of chapter. I died once from that silly boulder, but that's alright. Um, not really too fussed. We'll just give it a quick save now. Sorry that last time I was uh, called away due to dinner. I was, <laughs> I was hungry, what can I say? So let's have a look here. So we've been playing for an hour already, which is uh, not bad. Not bad at all. So it takes a long time to save this game. This bit's pretty cool and it explains a little bit more. Feeble humans. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up. Ay, uh, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not dying. <laughs> Do something, cop! After you! Now!
It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Right, back after that wonderful cutscene. Now, there is a few things that I can talk about in that cutscene. I don't want to do any spoilers or anything like that. If you haven't played this game or don't know what's going on. Um, we meet a very, very important character who injects us with what we presume at this moment to be something very, very bad. Um, he's injected us with it and he wants us to give... Uh, he wants to give us the powers that he has provided for his men as well. And this is my favourite character in the game we are about to meet. Over here, strange. Yep, this is my favourite character in probably any video game ever. Uh, is he's, he's, he's just wonderful. He's got no name. He's called The Merchant. And he is quality. He is absolutely min. So I'm going to kick this door open. There's no enemies around here as yet. So we're just going to creep around the shed and meet the new guy. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Plenty of uh, flat guns. Got a selection of good things on sale, straight. Okay, so the merchant. Um, did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you shot ten or more of them. You've got a specialized gun. I want you to try out. So he's the guy that you get the gun from. But we meet him a little bit later on anyway. So no worries about that. Um, something that you can do here is tune up your guns. Brand what new for the Resident buying? Evil uh, series, but I'm not going to tune up any of these two. Reason being, it's because we're swapping them out in a short while anyway, so what there's no point buying? hearing that at all. What we would definitely need is the rifle. So I'm going to pick up the rifle. Is that all? Because we can use this to our advantage quite easily. And it fits very nicely in the bottom of our pouch. <laughs> so we still have 25, <laughs> and I would advise pushing up our attachy case to the medium so we can carry more stuff. Is that all? <laughs> See? It just Thank increases you. it a little bit more. So for 3,000 we get the valuable treasures and the treasure map for the village. Can be very, 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 very helpful. Don't know why I'm speaking like an idiot currently, but hey. What are you we can selling? also sell some stuff. Uh, we don't need, for example, the spinels are pointless. We don't need to keep them, so let's Is sell the spinel. Um, we can you. sell the pearl pendant if we so choose. Ah. But don't sell the red cat size. We've got 25 here. What are you we could buying? get the, the, the valuable treasures in the village, but I don't think we actually need it. Um, we're probably going to buy the scope. Uh, I just think that if you get the scope, it can normally help out quite a lot. So Is that I'm going to buy that because it's not exactly expensive and it doesn't take up that much room. It's just how I like to do it. <laughs> and once you. you so there's that, that's the merchant. So once you get the scope, you can combine it then with that and we have a scoped rifle very very cool now something you do have to know don't ever kill him don't kill him in any area because he does turn up in other areas but if you kill him in this specific area he won't come back so bear that in mind if you head just around you get a couple of uh, areas here that you can take and you get a red herb for your troubles this rifle is a cool looking gun by the way I've never really noticed that so Leon, we've taken our jacket off now. Leon's got not got his furry jacket on, and I always like that furry jacket. That's quite a nice one. You can also come to this crack in the wall here, um, and it gives you a good view of what you're about to come up against, pretty much. Now, you can quite easily, from this position, pick off quite a lot of enemies. So that's what we're going to do as quickly as we can. And because of the game being incredibly old, we don't need to worry about any issues in regards to... Oh god. See now, that music means that they know we're here. Which is a bit frustrating. But we can manage. So there's a guy wandering down over this way. And if the flipping controls weren't so... Gosh darn annoying. <laughs> there we go, headshot. So we've actually killed a number of these enemies already before we even knew it, which is very helpful. So while I'm here, I'm just going to grab the uh, shotgun and reload it, purely because these enemies can come at you quite quickly, and it's always good to attack them. So we can get a little bit closer to this guy, 
and shoot him straight in the face. I'm going to equip my pistol just to uh, get the rest of these guys. They do take a lot of bullets though. Headshot there, very, very nice. So we're going to put back, we haven't even got, we've only got a little bit of ammo here. It takes a long while to reload, but we are using this rifle in order to, well, you see. And we are using the bullets, but there is a reason why we're using the bullets. Right. So this is one we're probably going to take a... Yeah, there's quite a few people coming here, and it's just going to happen. You just have to be ready for it, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to equip that grenade. Just because y you might struggle with the amount of enemies that are going to be coming at you at this point if you're not prepared in game. So be as prepared as you can possibly be. And you can shoot the what they have in their hands out from underneath them. So these guys aren't dead. They are dead now because that's their death animation. So we have been quite you know, lucky there with the amount of enemies that we've been killing. But let's go and... Right, there's more... Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit there. That was kind of silly from me. Uh, there was enemies, and I've had to use the first aid spray because the dynamite takes a hell of a lot of uh, ammunition and health from you, so... Yeah, there's a lot of guys, as you can see, so I might see if I can use my last rifle bullet on the guy with... Oh, Jesus! That guy was right in front of me. I'm probably going to need to shake him off and kick him, and that's... There we go. You can get get a knife and most likely kill them from there. If you really want. But, to be honest, you want to try and avoid... As if I didn't shoot the dynamite, that's really frustrating. But as you can see, ammo already gets kind of ridiculous as you go because it just gets less and less and less but they're giving enough away so headshot lovely right the music is still going which means we still got people and I reckon there's somebody just up here it's a little bit boring how I'm kind of playing and I don't mean to be boring not at all but it's the safest way to play this game if you want to actually survive so Take my advice, if you will. And if you don't want to, then you don't have to. So, worth having a look around, as per usual. Getting all of the uh, available ammo and women ammunition that you can get. As per usual, this game takes the mick. So, uh, I'm just going to kick this guy. Oh, I can't. Oh, God. How did he miss? We're very lucky there. Oh, jeez. And we got a headshot on him. We're getting a lot of money. Quite a lot of uh, ammunition. So let's just climb up here. There's a few things we need to get in this area. Well, there's one of our lovely friends. So let's do a quick turn around. There you go. You see, you can shoot it. And if you can shoot the... I mean, you have to be pretty, you know, pretty good at doing what you're doing. But sometimes that can kill them, but it didn't this time. Come on. I'm gonna use my knife. Okay, maybe not. There we go, that's gotta be him dead now. So it's still got people left. Which can be a bit of a pain because I think we need to go up there and that's gonna cause some people to come down. But let's just open this amazing treasure chest that we've got. Uh, currently, I don't even know what time we're on here. Um, I don't wanna go there. <laughs> I don't know why I've gone there. So we've got the emblem, right half, which leads you to believe we are going to be getting the left half. Uh, and the left half is just up that way. And as we get up there, it's going to spawn more enemies. So, yeah. Can be a bit of an issue if you've not got a lot of ammo. So be prepared to see some enemies. Let's just make sure there's nothing left in here that I can get. There isn't. I don't think there's uh, anything in this barrel. I remember rightly. Ah, it's just some money. And money's always helpful in this game because you need to be upgrading your equipment. On a, on a quite a lot of occasions, I think this guy might 
Yeah, it's up in the air, you know. We did kill him, we did kill him. The great thing about this game is that you know when the enemies are gone. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my word, there's a lot of them there. Right, so we need to work this out. How are we going to do this? I'm going to use this bullet. Reload my shotgun because loads of them will come through. Because it, it's, it, it happens that they, they attack you. How these people uh, are missing me with what's going on, I have no idea. We've destroyed the head from that guy. There's just loads of them. There is just loads of these guys coming out of everywhere, which is why this bit's really hard first thing in the game. Oh god. These people, man. They're taking so much hit. There we go. Lovely headshot to end that little exchange. There's still people. So I'm going to try and run through this as quickly as I can now. There is some secrets in here, if I remember rightly. Um, open both of these locker doors and get some gold. And obviously, you get a yellow herb, which is mega, mega helpful. We haven't got low enough health yet to warrant the need to be using this. I don't, I don't think there's anything up here, but I'm going to climb up it anyway. Yeah, you see, there's nothing. But I think... Oh, God. This is the problem. This gun is, is really, really rubbish as far as the handguns in the game go. So you can knock, kind of run off, grab the ammo that we need that we've just used to reload. It just takes so much so much hits, and you should really try for the head. <laughs> and I love how they keep walking. That's one of my favourite things. Kill them. Kill them all. Right. That's it. The, uh, the music has gone, which means no more enemies in this area. There's a few things. I think there's a, a treasure. Oh, there normally was on the GameCube version up this way. Um, sometimes there's not. Nope. In the GameCube version, it definitely was. But we get ammo, and as you know, ammo is mega, mega useful right now. So let's go up and get the final uh, half, or the left half, of the emblem, and then we can move on to the next area. This is quite an intricate area and, and difficult area at the start of the game as well, and it can kind of stump people, um, which isn't exactly useful, but I just want to make sure, because I know that there's people that come up, unless we've killed them all. It's very strange... Um, how it, how it kind of works with everything uh, and, and sets the enemies off. It's when you get to a certain point up here that enemies start to come and attack you again. But they might not this time, so... Let's just take what we need here. I'm going to reload the rifle as well because it's been good to us as the rifle. And look at the animation on it as well. They really know what to do with it. So let's open this and pick it up. I don't even think we need to, to fight the rest of the enemies. Now you see, they're all gone. They're all gone, which is great news. Um, can we jump down here? Yep, yeah, we can. Great. Jump down and head on to the next area. And I think we've been going for quite a long time now, looking at it. Let's just see. When do we go? It won't open. Something is fixing it. Uh, combine with that. Make a full one. Use that. Fits in the door perfectly. And there we go, into the next area. So that's taken us 20 minutes-ish that whole area and that's a long area so I'm gonna pause it here and we're gonna look at that 30,000 percent exactly and move into the next episode uh, straight afterwards I'll see you in a bit guys thank you